Vaughan, and we happen to have them here right in the studio, Stevie Ray and the band Double Trouble with uh, Tommy Shannon and Chris Layton. First of all, welcome to Sounds. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. You yeah. ever expect to be this big in Australia, really? Not at all. It's a, it, was a, it was a gas getting here and finding out this was all going on. Come to find out our records are going back up the charts again. Well, the, the album's top 20 at the moment, nationally. Well, the, yeah, the first album is going back up too. Really? Yeah. And you played here at the Opera House. What was that like? It was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. We're doing it again. Got two more shows to do. People were great. They've been great everywhere we played so far. What did you really expect when you came here, though? I thought we'd be playing smaller places than yourself. I really did too. I didn't think we'd be quite this popular. Thought I'd see kangaroos and things <laughs> at the concert. Yeah. You know, when people come to Texas, they think everyone rides around on horses and so you know. But, but what is, what, what's the fact, though? I mean, we don't hear much of the singles out here, and the album sort of. Only reached the twenties and stuff. What do you think it is? Why do people know about you? Well, hopefully it's because they they realize that we do what we consider to be real music instead of a like a formula thing and just to just to be selling records. You know, it's, it has more to do with with feeling in the music and an older style of music. I mean, because most of the music now is pretty much high tech, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Well, actually. It, Seems to me that there just needs to be more some more feeling put into it in, in general. A lot of and most music is that way. It seems to me. Okay, then where does the feeling come from? Right here. Yeah. Is that is that basically it? Yeah. 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 It comes from inside. It's just you know it's the emotion of the music that's what it's really about in the first place. I mean the the, the albums and the music is very sort of Jimi Hendrix. Does that worry you? And people say compare to to him. Well, to me the the, the problem with that is is that. Uh, well, comparisons are needed, I guess, by a lot of people, because it's an easy way to try to explain something about a style of music or, or you know, a style of anything, really. But it gets to the point where um, people forget that there was only one Jimi Hendrix. There'll only be one Jimi Hendrix. There never will be another one, you know. I'm just glad to be able to carry some of his style on in the, through the music. You know, I'm, I'm, I liked his music a lot, very much. Once again, it's a, that raw sound, isn't it? Yeah. Can I just ask you about one thing? Uh, the uh, connection with David Bowie with the Let's Dance album. How did that all happen? Well, he'd seen our band in, in Montreux, Switzerland, and liked what we did. And just finally asked me to play on the record. And that's, that was, it was really that simple. <laughs> While well, we're throwing big names around, and your connection with the Rolling Stones. Well, remember the dance interior. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Jagger, Mick Jagger saw a tape of us. A show we did in Texas, and he had a real interest in the band, and we did a little private party in New York City, a club called the Danceteria, and he and Ron Wood came out and a few friends, and we just got up there and played. We were supposed to have played for like for like 35 minutes, and Jagger kept saying he'd buy the place if they didn't want us to play any. We kept playing for about two hours and 45 minutes. It was, it was pretty wild. <laughs> okay, we're going to look at your new single, which is from this album. We're going to look at uh, Couldn't Stand the Weather. Stevie Ray Vaughan, thanks very much for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you.